I'm Rob. Uh, I had a small tumor removed from my left finger from uh, Dr. Riggenbach. Um, the best thing that's resulted from that is I can now hold a cup of coffee and take my dog for a walk, uh, ride my bike in, um, in, in no pain and not even thinking about it. So I have a pretty long commute and so my hands are on the steering wheel uh, for a couple hours every day and you can imagine if you had a, a tumor in your finger uh, how uncomfortable that would be. Just starting and ending every day that way uh, was really something that, that, that was a quality of life issue. So uh, working with Dr. Regenbach uh, has really made a big difference in my life. So from the very beginning I did my research, uh, found Dr. Regenbach, uh, liked what a lot of his previous patients had shared. Um, so I decided to go with him and I couldn't be any more happier. Uh, from the first time I made the phone call, I uh, was greeted very professionally, uh, a lot of courtesy, um, timeliness, everybody, right from the beginning, uh, I, I knew I made the right decision and that was confirmed when I had my first appointment. Robert had a tumor in his hand, more particularly his finger, which was very painful for him. Most people hear hand tumor or finger tumor and they think something bad like cancer, but fortunately more than 95% of the tumors in the hand are actually benign or non-cancerous. So in this case, Robert's tumor uh, was mostly painful, uh, which was the problem for him. The other uh, interesting thing about Robert's surgery is we were able to do it under local anesthesia only, which means um, no sedation or there was no medication from the anesthesiologist that, were, that was given to uh, put him to sleep. Uh, we just numbed his finger up, and once it was numb, we made an incision over the finger, much like you would in the dentist's office. Uh, for that reason, he had a uh, quicker turnaround time. It's actually cheaper for him. There's no anesthesia cost, and in some instances, you can drive yourself home. I'd absolutely recommend they come in for a consultation with Dr. Rickenbach. Uh, again, his, his knowledge and his team's knowledge, I can tell that he uh, likes to bring in other people for their opinions and their assessments. And So I think you get a lot of value from that. Uh, so you're getting a lot of perspective on a lot of experience. Um, I felt no pressure to do anything. Um, basically, in my situation, he said, you can leave it, we can watch it or if it's something you want to take care of, we can take care of it. I really appreciated that. I can't really uh, stress enough how good the overall experience was. And uh, you know, being, being a, a doctor, you're, you're a team leader. And I felt like uh, Dr. Regenbach has done an excellent job of selecting his team um, and managing them. Um, so I think it's, it's more than just you know, medical practice. It's, it's picking the right people to be on your team and, and, and the trust they have in one another to take care of the patients. I thought it was excellent.